Well, June is Pride Month and has been for decades. In Idaho, Canyon County announced it'll host its very uh, first Pride Festival it had uh, yesterday. Boise's Pride Fest happens in September. And Christina Bruce Benyon with the Wasmuth Center for Human Rights joins us now uh, to share why Pride is nationally celebrated time. It's obviously a, a very busy time in June for Pride Month. It is, it is. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, Pride is is a, a national, well now international, really, event. And in the United States, 1970 was the first time that Pride was celebrated. And it came, um, unfortunately, on the heels a year after uh, what was known as the Stonewall Riots in New York City. And really has become, I think, um, an, an, an opportunity every year for a community whose basic rights and dignity are still at risk in many places. It is also a celebration of, of everything that has been overcome and yet all that remains to be done. Uh, and I think, um, you know, is, um, is just, yeah, is, is an opportunity for, for Idahoans and Americans and people all around the world to um, have that kind of moment and that visibility. Yeah, and Canyon County had their, just had their festival. Right. Seemed like a huge turnout yeah, as well. Yeah, which is so important, right? I think, again, visibility is a big part of Pride and it's it's not about excluding anyone else. It's it's really just about, um, of yeah, having this visibility. So the yeah. Wasmuth Center uh, yes. for Human Rights, talk about what is, is in the plan right now for Pride Month in June, mm -hmm. uh, just maybe year round and all those kind of things. Yeah, I mean, at the center, what we really do is education. And so um, we typically actually do a little bit more because we're here in Boise um, in September when the city of Boise has pride here. Uh, so we have some programming coming up in September. But otherwise, uh, what we really talk about around the year are rights, human rights, and kind of how that shows up. And we take lessons from history, connect them to the present, and really look at how do we work to create communities where, you know, that center dignity and belonging for everybody. Mm -hmm. I imagine too the education piece is, is really, really good for people that maybe, you know, whether whatever you see online or whether, what you see maybe just yeah. uh, throughout your day to day, getting educated I'm sure helps out so many people, especially in the Treasure Valley. Yeah, and you know, there's a lot of misinformation. Um, there's a lot, I think we've seen, unfortunately, again, you know, sort of, I think Idaho's history um, has really had a lot of ups and downs, right? And um, just, you know, even in this past legislative session, there are, you know, an increasing number of bills that are, you know, targeting people who are trans, youth who are trans. We're looking at an era again of book banning. And I think a lot of that comes from a place of, of fear of not really fully understanding. And so again, I think pride and, and just in general education are important opportunity to really try to get, um, you know, stories and, and humanize the community yeah. out there. Is this something too that's, a, I mean, you, I don't say you have to give a sneak preview for September, but mm -hmm. I imagine there's a lot of things in works. What can people, because we kind of know that's coming up in a couple months in, in mm -hmm. Boise kind of expect? Yeah, and I mean, I, I am not one of the pride organizers okay. for Boise, yeah. and so I don't want to speak for all the things, but obviously the parade is always a big part of it, and there's just a lot of events and, and things happening around the community, and just, again, I think a really great opportunity for people to, to come together, whether you are part of that community or an ally, a family member. I mean, again, you know, um, there are our, our yeah. friends, our neighbors, sure. our family members. Um, so I think. And for those for, that want to get more educated, maybe for their entire family, they're sitting there going, "Okay, yeah. I, I want more information and to get that education." Where where can they go for a resource? Is there specific hours or specific times, uh, specifically in the month of June that they can look for? Gosh, I mean, I think you know, attending. I mean, of course, the one in Canyon County just passed, yeah, just ended, but yep. um, there are going to be other Pride events around the state. So if there's one close to you, I would say you know, looking, um, you know. Know, looking to attend those just to, to show support and, and to be there and to learn and then again in September if you're in the Boise area I think you know there will be a lot of events happening and we'll be um, you know putting you know anything about programming that we'll be doing or resources um, on our website okay. as that gets closer. Perfect so, so people yeah. can go website and, and what's the website again? Wasmithcenter.org. Wasmithcenter.org. So, yeah. That's you know and, and I'm sure you spell it perfectly every time. I know for me I'm always like Wasmith. <laughs> how many S's are in there? So 
So right, yeah, right, right. Uh, yeah. just yeah. wonderful. Well, thank you yeah. so much for, yeah. for the time and, and everything you're doing. So yeah. we appreciate Absolutely. it. And again, yeah. wasmithcenter.org uh, to find more information. So uh, happening this week, the Freedom From Hunger Food Drive. It's happening at Albertsons across the Treasure Valley. So we'll uh, talk more about that coming up next on more with Idaho Today.